Hey everyone, Travis here from Travis.media. Today I want to share with you what I think is the number one way to find consistent work as a new freelance web developer. So stay tuned. All right, so as always, before we get started, if you're into web development, coding, career advancement, things like this tutorial that you're watching, consider subscribing to the channel. There's lots of great videos on the way. Also consider either leaving me a comment, shooting me an email, or something like that, letting me know what video I can make for you. I want to make videos for my audience, so let me know what you'd like to see, and I'll do it. All right, so the reason why I'm saying this is the best method for getting work as a new freelancer is because it's the method that worked for me. There's lots of ways that you can find clients, you can find work, and I did a lot of stuff, and this was the number one thing that worked for me. So instead of telling you, hey, it's this, I'm going to show you what I did at that stage in my freelancing career right here in this video and demonstrate it for you. So I was a new freelancer. Um, I think I might have been still working at the time, but I was trying to pick up more clients and more work. So I did this, and this is what I want you to do if you're in the same stage. I live in central Virginia, so I thought about the cities in my area. We got Charlottesville, we got Lynchburg, we got Richmond. Mm -hmm. What agencies can I reach out to and either make a connection with, become friends with, or ask for overflow work from? So I was thinking about that, hey, if I could get to know at least one agency and they get work coming in, maybe they'll pass me some of that work or the work they don't want to do or the work they don't have time to do. Maybe they'll pass me that work and perhaps they won't, but I'll make a connection and maybe they can refer me elsewhere or worst case scenario, they just don't answer you. And that's not a loss at all. That's the way life is. So here's what I did. So I said, hey, Charlottesville, let's see what's going on in Charlottesville. And so I typed in Charlottesville web design. So whatever city you're in, if you're in Miami, Miami web design. If you're in Dallas, Dallas web design. Go to Google, type in your city web design and start looking through these agency websites. So here's what I did. I went down, I said, oh, look at this, Charlottesville SEO web development. Why don't I click on that? Okay, that's first in the list. I got a bunch of other options here, but let's just click on that. So that's what I did. I clicked on website and it opened up this site, nickstone.com. Okay, looks like a pretty successful place. I went up here, I went under about and it says employment opportunities. I went, whoa, what, what's that all about? So what it says, are you passionate about what you do? Do you keep abreast of evolving trends and all of that? Would you like to work remotely? We're looking for web developers, CSS people, copywriters, uh, analytics, artisans, bloggers, all of this stuff. So I said, hey, I'm a web developer. Web developer. Why don't I just write him and say and introduce myself and see if there's anything I can do? I also saw here that they're building sites on the Genesis platform, which is what I like to use too. So I wrote him an email. And I don't have that email because I think it was in the contact form here. I wrote an email saying this. And if you run across a site with this, here's what you can say. I said something like this. Hi, Nick. My name's Travis. I'm a freelance web developer in the Central Virginia area. I specialize in WordPress. I use Genesis themes. And first of all, I just want to say, hey, I'm reaching out. I'm trying to meet agencies in the area, uh, people in the area. And second, just wanted to let you know if you have any overflow work that, that you can't take on and are looking for someone reliable to send that work to that would benefit you as well, please let me know. Um, I'd love to hear back from you. I'd love to work with you if that's a possibility. Blah, 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 blah. Those kind of things. Just kind of a casual interest. Hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. If you have any overflow work or anything like that, you know, consider me. If not, you know, just saying, hey. So that's what I did. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to do that. I want you to type in your city, web design, then I want you to open like the top 10 agencies. And we're gonna go through this in a minute. I'm gonna show you what to look for. But I want you to do that. Just start getting used to the agencies in your area, getting to know, you know, what they do, what they offer, and finding the ones that might be good to reach out to and introduce yourself and even mention overflow work. Now, here's the biggest thing. Here's the reason why this works. You may be thinking, man, that's not going to work. They probably get lots of submissions and, and they've already got web developers. Why do they want you? you know, why, why can you just jump in there and be like, send me work? Here's why. For a couple of reasons. Number one, 
Sometimes agencies get so busy, they have so much coming in, they have to put things on the wait list. So some of the projects are two, three, four months out. Sorry, we can't get to it. If you come in there and they say, oh, wait a minute, if I add him, if he's there, I can send stuff to, then I can get these people in quicker and I can make them my clients. Okay, so that's first. And the second thing, and this is the biggest thing, a lot of these agencies have ideal client budgets. So some agencies may say, look, I don't take any projects under five grand or 10 grand. I don't take petty projects. You know, if you come to me, you want some landing page built and it's going to be like 500 bucks. I don't have time for it. But if you come in there and say, hey, do you have any overflow work or things that you, you, you can't take on that you could benefit from? So they may think, okay, so now this, this lady or this guy came to me and they want a landing page and they want to build for 800. I, I told them I wouldn't do it you know, under 800. And they said, cool. And this guy right here will do it for 400. I can make $400 profit off the bat. He'll do it for 400. They'll pay me 800. This is actually a good deal. So that's kind of what happened in this scenario. So when I wrote this guy, the first thing he said was, send me your GitHub profile. Now, if you don't have a GitHub profile, you pretty much don't exist in the developer world. You have to have a GitHub profile. You have to have some sort of portfolio to prove that you can code, to prove that you know what you're doing. You don't have to be excellent. You just have to prove that you know what you're doing because they may just start sending you really easy work up front. So if you don't have a portfolio, uh, you need some kind of blueprint or something to get started, get that portfolio built, check out my Learn to Code Blueprint course. Okay, learn to code blueprint.com. That's my course that takes you from a complete code newbie to landing that job in six months. You jump in a Slack group with me and my other students and we're all just becoming best friends and learning to code together. It's a wonderful thing. I'll put a link below. But if you do have a GitHub profile and you're already, you know, on the way with that, then they're going to ask you for that. So send them your GitHub profile. And back to my story, that's what I did. I sent my GitHub profile and around that same time, this guy got a job, he got, a, got an offer from someone to fix something on a site. Normally he couldn't do it, but he said, oh wait, I got this guy that came in and offered to take overflow work. I've checked his GitHub profile, I've got my developer to check his GitHub profile. I think he can handle this. It's a very easy task. And you know, I can charge these people 75 an hour and I can pay him 40 an hour. Huh, that's a win-win for both of us. It's a win for him and a win for me. So that's what he did. He said, hey, I got this one small project. Try it out. Let's see how you do. I did it. I did a good job. Uh, the next thing came along. Hey, we need, you know, 15 things fixed on this site. I jumped on it. I did a good job. And next thing you know, I'm taking on bigger projects there. And things progressed from there. Things went well. And it was a great stream of work for me as a new freelance developer. So that's my story. I reached out here. The guy checked me out. I got to know him. He saw the benefit. He could take on jobs that he couldn't normally take on. And he started sending me just little easy things up front. I did them. He sent me a little harder thing. I did it. And I was a trustworthy guy in the area that he could outflow work to. I was still a freelancer. It was a win-win for both of us. So how can you apply this? So I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I think while, while you may be like, they're not going to they're not going to hire me for this. They got enough people. They don't want some guy just coming in like, send me work. But you don't have to do it like that. So how can you do it? Well, let me show you a few examples. So I'm going to close this web page here. I'm going to type in something else. So let's type in, uh, let's type in another city here in Virginia. Richmond Web Design. So this is what you would do if you lived in Richmond. So I'm going to look on the web page here. Um, let's try known agency. Here's uh, key web concepts. Here's 28 Media. I'm just going to click on the first page. All right, I got three options here. We grab a few more from the second page. Uh, Colab, J. Drake, Graphic Design. Oh, and just another side note, another great thing to do is to go on LinkedIn and find, if you're a developer only, go on LinkedIn and find the graphic designers or the web designers only, just, the, just do that, in your area. You can say, hey, I'm a freelance developer in the area. I'm trying to meet designers because I get work sometimes. I don't design and I might be able to send it to you. Do you want to meet for coffee sometime? And no normally they'll say, yeah, if this guy can send me work. And then when I get work that needs development that I don't know, I could, I could send him some work too. So that's another, another great thing that you can do. So let's go ahead and look through these sites. So this one's called Known. 
known agency. Now, the first thing you want to do is look for a careers link. Now, you, you may not want a career, but just start there. So no, a lot of times they're down here at the bottom. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I don't see any link for careers. So it's not there. I'm going to click on this hamburger icon. Services, air work, blog, about, contact. Sometimes the about page will have, will have some info on how to contact them if you're you know, a web developer or something like that. So here's the team. Career opportunities. Okay, no career opportunities at this time. This place, you may write them and just say, hey, my name's Travis. I'm a freelance web developer in the area. I'm trying to get to know people and trying to, um, and just wanted to say hey and introduce myself. That might be a good email for this place. They're not hiring anybody at the moment, but let them know that you exist and you may come to mind one day when they need somebody. Now let's try this one. Uh, this is Key Web, custom website design. There's no careers at the bottom. Let's go to menus and there's no careers link. Let's go to about. All right, so this is about the group and nothing here. So you may just want to pass on them for now. All right, the next one is Colab. So right up here in the top, we see a link to careers. So I'm just going to open that in a new tab. I'm going to scroll down and just kind of see what they're all about. Okay, they look to have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So let's go to this careers page and let's see what they got. So check out our career opportunities. In Richmond, we need a UX strategy lead and a front-end developer. So I could say, oh, they need a front-end developer. Let me apply for that, and that's that. You don't have to worry about introducing yourself. Just apply for that if you want to work there. If you don't, and, and you're just a, you just want to stay remote, you want to stay freelance, just write them anyway. You don't have to apply to the job, but just send them an email. Say, I'm a developer and all of that stuff we talked about. So you can choose to apply for the thing, or you can choose just to introduce yourself. All right, so I'm going to just pick another city here. So Richmond, let's try somewhere random like uh, St. Louis web design. And let's do the same thing. Let's go down the page. All right, here's 314media.com. Here's IQ com Computing. Clutch, uh, web design and company. That's pretty vague. Clicked Studios. Matchbox Design Group. Let's try that for now. All right, so the first page here is 314media.com. So up here, I see a couple of links. First thing I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom, look for some kind of careers page. I don't see one. So, and I see a contact. Um, anyway, might be something to look into. I'm going to close it for now. Here's IQ Computing. Scroll to the bottom. And there it is. There's the careers page. Let me click on that in a new window. And these people do a lot of stuff. Look at this. So they're a pretty big company probably. And maybe a company that you would want to write to. So in just in regards to careers, what do they have? Join our team. All right. Join our team. They don't give you anything specific, but they say our WordPress web development team and professional website developers focus on this, blah, blah, blah. So if you're into WordPress and you're looking for WordPress work, these may be the people to reach out to. Hey, IQ Computing, I'm a freelancer in the area. Just wanted to say hey, just want to get to know the companies in the area. Also, just let you know I'm open for work. If you have any overflow work or work that you can't handle, I would love to partner with you in a way that benefits you. And that's it. That's a, that's a great intro. All right, Clicked Studios. What's going on at Clicked Studios? There are no links at the bottom. And up here we have about, we have services. I'm going to click on about while I check the next page. St. Louis uh, Matchbox Design Group.com. I'm going to click this hamburger. And there it is, careers. Let's click on careers. Scroll around, see what the website's about. And before you write them, research the site a little bit. Just see what they do. Try to make some kind of connection there. All right, so employment, available positions, a web developer. Matchbox Design Group is seeking a full stack developer. So that lets you know they're hiring. You may not want to work there. You, may, you still may want to be freelancing and remote. So you don't have to apply for this job, but perhaps they can use you in a way that they don't even need to fill this position. So that's all I'm really getting at. That's two different cities. Um, this isn't like follow these rules and you'll definitely get the job. But for me, I found that to be the best way to find work. You just meet the agencies in your area by reaching out saying hello, telling them what you do, and just saying, hey, if you have any work that you can't take on, you have any overflow, then consider sending some to me. I would love to partner with you. It's a great way 
to get in with one of these agencies and to get steady work. And as a freelancer, you know that steady work is everything. So hopefully that helps a little bit. And if you have any questions about this, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer in more depth. And as always, subscribe below if you've benefited from this and want more videos like this. So hey, thanks for watching as always. I appreciate all of you and have a great day.